Hi guys. Once again, it's still Sunday. Um, so today's video, I'm going to be talking about the controversy around Morph and why I think it is stupid as somebody who's a fan of the X-Men and understand um, greatly about what, what they represent. So I, didn't re I did not even realize that this... Um, hold on. Um, sorry about that. I didn't realize that this controversy was even a thing. Um, I don't really pay attention to people that don't like something because to me, either they have never read the comics or they just want something to gripe about. So this one surrounds the mutant morph and the mutant morph it has the ability to change into, uh, bolt, ch change into anything that he wants. Um, he is identified as uh, non-binary. And Morph did appear in the X-Men animated series. And, but of course, they never wrote down, never put down that he was non-binary and all this stuff. And you could also say that um, the history of, like, shapeshifters, they, they don't, they, they don't even um, they don't even, uh, they're not one, they're not like one, one gender or the other, they're whatever they morph into. So like Mystique, can, we've seen her, even in the movies, we've seen her turn into a man, we've also seen her turn into a woman, but Mystique is Mystique, and she identifies as, well, a mutant. The only thing that I will be saying about this uh, controversy is that these are people that don't have anything better to do with their lives. They want to have something to complain about. If something does not fit their pro quo, they want to complain about it. This is something, and I was, I was basically telling my brother about this, that this is the reason why people really need to read comics so they can better understand these characters and they don't end up being like a total idiot. This is one of the huge reasons I am reading the X-Men because I want to better understand these characters so that I understand their evolution and all the stuff they went through and when they appeared and all that jazz. Sorry. Oh man, I'm sorry. I just had to watch. <laughs> um... So Morph is a shapeshifter, just like Mystique is also um, a shapeshifter. But in the animated one, they made him biologically a man, which is probably one of the reasons that people are upset about it. I'm not upset about it, just like I was not upset about Loki's uh, child identifying as, well, you know, identifying as non-binary. I had no problem with that because Loki's Loki and Loki's children are all shapeshifters. Um, the thing about the thing about this is, and I just shake my head about it, is it totally like blindsided the actors who play these characters. They were like, "We're just bringing something from the '90s into the now. Why are they making a big old deal about it?" But unlike, unlike other kinds of controversies, like Bud Light and Target and all this stuff, it was immediately hit with a giant wave of counter-controversy and their own form of backlash. And people that have read the comic books, that know about Morph, that know what he slash she, we're going to use that because... Morph can turn him to both a man and a woman, just like Mystique can, is these people have read the comics. They are extremely loyal to the source material of these comics. And I, even though I've only read one, not read, but watched one episode, and I do plan to watch episode two today, uh, because I do want to see the new intro with Magneto in it, um... People seem, people seem, 
people seem to not realize that their idiocy and their lack of understanding, and also the fact is they probably have not picked up a single X-Men comic, especially the early X-Men comics um, show. I mean, the, the fact that they have not done this stuff shows. It shows in their in their ignorance of the source material. It shows in their ignorance of how, of why the X-Men were created in the first place. And for people that do not want, do not know, the X-Men were created in the 1960s for to, to represent every single marginalized group of people in, in the world. And also, also because Stan Lee was like, you know, not everybody can get superpowers through a bite or through radiation or through this. What happened? We have people that are just born that way. I mean, they literally are born that way. They are born with this mutant X gene that activates all this other stuff that causes them to gain their powers. But a lot of people say it was primarily the uh, X gene that does this. And I, that's what really draws me to the X-Men is is they are the other and I've always felt sometimes I've always felt like I am the other which is what draws me to the X-Men comics to make a big deal over Morph being a non-binary I mean seriously we got stuff going on going on in the world and you're worried about a character being non-binary sheesh really Read the X-Men comics and come back to me <laughs> after you've read them all. Um, but yeah, it's it's stupid. It absolutely is stupid. Um, but yeah, and uh, I just wanted to put myself out there and say I support I support whatever Marvel does. Marvel has not gone woke. It is just how 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 morph is that's what morph is morph identifies as a mutant that's what morph identifies as so um i will see you guys around and uh oh uh one more thing before i do see you guys around um i forgot to mention in my previous video that originally the x-men comics were bi-monthly it was only uh like um like the t tail end of 1965 that they became monthly so <laughs> i'm sorry i forgot to include that in the previous video so um i'm going to sit down and watch the second episode of x-men 97 and i will be back with a review of that episode bye